What's up guys, this is Matt Kahn from Bulb Digital and today we're gonna talk about making your intranet thrive. What are all the steps behind making sure that your intranet is managed all year round and that you have the things in place that make that effort go seamlessly. So listen up, because we're about to dive right in. So there are a lot of organizations today that have an employee intranet, but there are very few that have an intranet that are really active and engaging for their employees. There's a lot of important information that can go out on an intranet, and it's a way to connect your users and keep a lot of noise out of all the other communication channels that you may have at your organization. It can help minimize emails. It can help uh, get everyone aligned and get on the same page about what's going on at your organization. But there's a lot that goes into putting that content into an intranet and making it a thriving living space. So the first thing we wanna address about managing the intranet is building a team around that endeavor. You wanna put a team of actual people together and have a couple people from a different areas of your organization. You wanna have marketing and communications folks involved. You wanna have someone in from leadership involved that can make some of those calls about the intranet and the content that goes on. And you wanna have some people from human resources that have that employee experience and that touch of what the people wanna see for that content. So having somebody from some of these areas and maybe even more at your organization are key to making sure that different people have a look into how to manage the intranet over time. Once you have your team together, you really wanna give them a place to centralize their effort and manage and collaborate together. We actually end up using Microsoft Teams for this endeavor and Loop among a couple other resources in the Microsoft space. So this is a great spot to build out channels, have different discussions about the intranet, store files, talk about content creation. It's important that they have a space to collaborate where they can meet regularly and do calls, review existing content, and upcoming things that you guys wanna put out on the intranet. Um, this is really, really important for them to have that space to physically or virtually meet together. It's also really important to meet regularly to discuss the content that's going out. So we meet once a month. We think that's more than enough time to just basically talk for a half hour and talk about the content. Obviously this varies based on your organization's size, but meeting at a minimum once a month, I think is really, really good idea just to get that cadence going and to touch base with each other often. Another key thing we do at some of these meetings is actually assign the work. You can sit on these calls all day long and talk about what news would be cool to have or what events need to be created, but if you don't make some sort of a checklist or put it into Microsoft Planner, some things will probably end up not getting done and you'll find yourself revisiting later meetings and realizing that we forgot something. So putting actual names to paper on tasks for content creation or content updates goes a really long way to making sure that your intranet is really polished and always churning out new content. Last but not least, when it comes to this team putting effort into the intranet, you should really divide out this effort. You're already assigning tasks to people, but don't assign everything to just one person or try and do it all yourself. It's important to have a lot of people doing the little tasks that build up to a big outcome for this intranet so that it's not just one person's job getting swamped month to month to maintain this intranet. So let's talk about creating content because that really is the lifeblood of your intranet. So putting in new content regularly can enhance your intranet experience a lot. It tells your users that you're paying attention to what they wanna see and giving them important and critical data and that they can go get that data when it comes out. So really, this can be a big endeavor if you don't have a whole lot of content today, but you wanna sit down with this team and talk about what content do you do already? What form does that go out in? Are you sending out newsletter emails? Are you posting things in different chat channels? Are you chatting individually with things? Is there a water cooler conversation going on? A lot of organizations don't realize that they are doing news outside of their intranet and they need to bring that into their intranet. So identifying recurring content is a really good first step of saying, what do we do already at this organization that we can make into a news post or make into an update or an event or something like that? A few common examples of content we see every company putting out there in their intranets are company updates like holiday announcements or employee benefits changing, sales updates and customer spotlights. Maybe it's some employee engagement related content like staff spotlights or team outings that are up and coming or need to know dates that are coming down the calendar year. So you can brainstorm a lot of these areas across your departments and some of your employee culture areas and define what news posts you want to send out every month. Another very important aspect of managing your intranet and making sure it's fresh and clean is updating the home page itself. Creating content doesn't necessarily automatically push it right to the top homepage. Maybe some news posts will 
do that, but a lot of intranets have tiles or links that you need to change month over month. And there's really, really critical information that happens at your organization that you wanna put front and center. The intranet can be a place full of information that users can go and find and search for, but when your staff land on that homepage, you really want them to see that something is new, something is important, and something is relevant to them. And you should be able to make those changes if you're already creating a lot of content, because in those meetings you can decide what should go front and center each month. Another principle that makes creating content regularly and easy for your intranet team is to decide and schedule out your content ahead of time. Sit down at those meetings and discuss what you want to create for the month ahead or maybe the quarter ahead at your organization and start drafting out those news posts ahead of time. SharePoint even lets you enable a feature to auto-publish that content and pick the date when it's going to go live to your users. So there's a lot of things your team can do to forecast out the content, decide what those tasks are, and then execute on them over the course of a month or a couple months. And then that content can just come out naturally as it needs to. Another last note about creating content regularly is to generate a buzz around the content as you create it in your intranet. As your intranet starts thriving more and more, hopefully people start coming to it and commenting on news posts or engaging in some of the things that you put on the intranet. And if you generate a buzz and conversations around that, there's an opportunity for other people in your organization to get involved in creating content alongside you or at least speak to some of the content and give feedback on what they would want to see on the intranet. And that helps you hone in a best fit for the content on your intranet within your organization. You need to realize that this is just the start of your intranet journey. Maybe you already have an intranet going or you're just about to start creating that intranet journey, but you want to start small with your limited team and just get the work done that you know you have the capacity to do and continue making notes on how to scale up and iterate on that content over time. This process should work because now you have a team that meets regularly that can have these discussions month to month and talk about what's working and not working. And you may find that some content doesn't work for your organization when you thought it did earlier in the year. And this is important to be able to retro on those thoughts and decide what the best fit is for your company's intranet. I'm interested to hear your stories if you guys are building intranets yourselves. If there's things that you found helpful or you can resonate with some of the issues that I've raised up in this video, we'd love to hear it in the comments below.